Hello everyone and welcome to the Pembrokeshire Coast National Park. This behind me is an incredible landmark that we're going to see later on in the video. But for now, enjoy. So yes, in this video we're going to show you 10 amazing places that you can see on the Pembrokeshire coast. But these aren't just any random 10 places because everything in this video is actually located right next to each other along a 10 mile stretch of the Pembrokeshire coast. So you could see these places as part of an absolutely epic 10 mile hike or you could just drive to each place individually but either way, enjoy! So here we are now at our first location of the video on this gorgeous coastline and that is Stackpole Quay. This was actually used in the late 1700s to store stone from the nearby quarry. Interesting, right Ellie? Yes. Got something to say? No, I just wanted to pass. Oh, okay, <laughs> cool. So this is actually located very close to one of Wales' best beaches and that is Barrafundal Bay. So we're going to walk there along the coastal path in a little bit. But first of all, I want to go have a look at this key, much closer, so we just need to do a bit of climbing down. Are you excited to go down the ladder? Well, sort of. Right. Very accessible, as you can see. Yes, yes. So here we are on the key right now. Very great views around the coastline from here. Let's move on now and head to same height. Yes, I'm saying height. Head to Barrafondal Bay. So here we are at Barrafondal Beach. It is every bit as incredible as we expected. That over there is Stackpole Head, which we are gonna to head to now and um, see what we can see from there. It looks very amazing, so let's go. So what you can see behind me is Stackpole Head, which is the next stop on our little walk. We're not going to carry on walking there, we're going to head back because there are so many things we want to see today. But this Pembrokeshire Coast walk um, goes via Stackpole Head. And then if you move on even further, you get to what we are going to be heading to next in the video. And that is St. Govan's Chapel. This behind us that you can see is St. Govan's Chapel. Uh, very out of nowhere, very unexpected. So let's go inside, which we can actually do, and have a look at the great views we get from it. St. Govan's Chapel, everyone. Hey, sing something. <laughs> that was cool. So here I am right now, sitting down in the sort of bay just underneath St Govan's Chapel which is just up there. A little bit of a climb, clamber to get down here but it is definitely worth it. This place is amazing, it really is. This chapel is located in a military firing range so you can only access it at certain times I believe so make sure you check the times that that is operating. But there's a very interesting arch that you can see behind me. Let's see what we can see. So what you can see just behind me over there is St. Govan's Head, a little bit like Stackpole Head that we didn't quite walk to earlier, but this one we are going to walk all the way to because this looks pretty spectacular. All good fun? Yes, highlight of the day. <laughs> so you can actually see behind me where we were earlier on today because that is Stackpole Head and that small interesting little rock formation you can see is Church Rock. So yeah, I think this viewpoint here gives you a really great kind of idea of the coastline that we've been exploring so far in this video. Wow, it's an old tramway. Yeah. I wonder what it was used for. That sums up this little bit um, of the coastline, but we're nowhere near done with the video yet. In fact, we're only around halfway through because now we're heading even more over that way for possibly another one of the most famous landmarks that you can find in South Wales. And if you are enjoying the video, by the way, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out and it means a lot as well because I absolutely love making videos and I have many more videos from the Pembrokeshire coast and Wales itself to come this summer. So stay tuned for that. So yes, this behind me is the Green Bridge of Wales. 
Uh, definitely a very impressive landmark. It is much bigger than I expected. But yes, obviously this is being eroded away constantly and will soon turn into a stack, uh, which we can actually see if we walk a few hundred meters up that way. So there are yet more of the birds here. We've just been informed by a local that they are actually guillemots. This is a very impressive place. This is um, definitely takes the cake of the Pembrokeshire coast so far, would you agree? Yes, highlight. It is a highlight, yes. Oh, this is just special. And uh, this kind of solidifies Pembrokeshire coast one of my, definitely my personal favourite coastline in the UK that I've found so far. So behind me is the final part of this incredible walk and this is the cauldron which is literally, I don't even know how this was formed and it's massive, it's so massive I cannot even get it all in one on this lens and this is a wide angle lens. So here we are now, we're trying to find Church Doors Cove and Scrinklehaven Beach. Oh, as a bonus note, there's Caldy Island right there. Just how close we are to Tenby right now. And if you do want to learn a bit more about Tenby, by the way, feel free to check out my best things to do in Tenby video, um, because we are around 10 minute drive away from Tenby here as well. So what a bonus. There is Church Door Cove, and there should be a small little door that we can get through in this rock uh, to get to Sprinkle Haven, so let's see. We got some stairs first though. That small thing right there is the way through to Sprinkle Haven. Let's get a closer look at church doors. Here it is, the gap. I don't know if we can fully make it actually. We'll have to see. Oh, no, we can't. So here we are now back a couple of days later for another attempt. I have another special guest star this time. <laughs> Ellie 2.0. <laughs> yeah, I'm not so, not so good looking as Ellie though. <laughs> well, maybe. Well, introduce yourself. Well, I'm, I'm Roy. I'm, I'm Alex's granddad. And... Uh, we're having a good time. There you go. <laughs> so yeah, take two. Let's uh, now see if we can make it through the entrance. The tide's a little bit further out today. How old are you, by the way? I shall be uh, uh, 83 in August. <laughs> there you go. And you're climbing over this. I'm still climbing rocks. Oh, you can see where you've been by a little bit of water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out the best way to uh, tackle it. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Beautiful. Our own what, little beach. What more do you want? So we finally made it through to the other side. There is a little entranceway just there. The tide's still on its way out today, so we have plenty of time. <laughs> Small video just to give you an idea of the scale of this cliff. Did you say good at all? <laughs> Every day, you do some great videos. I watch the subscribers go up at 10, 10 nearly every day now, which is which is great. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah. And now you can star in it yourself. Yeah. Star <laughs> it now. They'll go up even more now. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly think this beach is the dictionary definition of a hidden gem. I mean, there are no footprints on this beach except for the ones we have just made. So um, I really can't think many people 
come to this place and it is just incredible, so untouched. So you can actually see some remains of some old stairs, which is nice to know that you're not gonna get trapped on uh, this beach if the tide comes in past the entryway over there. And that is where I'm gonna finish off the video. So um, yeah, really hope you enjoyed. Feel free to check out my other Pembrokeshire Coast video in which we go up to the north side of the Pembrokeshire Coast. I will link it down in the description and it's also up in one of these corners. So yeah, what should everybody do? Subscribe to Alex Travel. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> Please. Right, see you in the next one. Bye bye everybody. Bye bye. <coughs>